It's half past eight. Uh, I'm stuck at the bungalow. This is my little porch area. Not porch. Uh, patio. Patio area. Gosh. Um, it's a, some sort of refuse collecting. What day is it today? Thursday. Don't know. It's not a normal bin day. Maybe it's a brown bin day or something. Uh, brown bins in the UK are garden waste. We, I don't have a garden. I have. One of them. Yay. Right, yeah, so I'm on the patio area. Uh, stuck here for a little while because it's the annual service day of my... My collaring. How scruffy. Uh, of my heating system. So I'm waiting for the engineers to arrive. So I shall probably drive somewhere around here in the um, car parking area. It's my um, washing line. That's the front door to my abode, and that's my little garden shed area. That's a uh, a tiger, tiger burning bright. Scaredy cat today. Oh, there's an engineer arriving. I think, maybe. I might have to stop talking for a while. Let's see, no, they're parking over there. All right, that's fine. There might be a window cleaner looking at all the ladders. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Anyway, let's go back to what we were talking about. Yeah, so what I'm going to do today is that, um, as you see, I might as well jump on there like that. I have 
all my one litre oat milk cartons and I've cut the top off because I'm going to do more planting. I'm going to do beans and peas. But I also need to pot on the um, first sowing of turnips, the first sowing of cauliflower and the second sowing of cauliflower. They seem to be really um, shooting up. So I've got a little bit of uh, quar and compost mix in the red container and I'm just making a new mix. That's a, a whole block of quar that I've just um, saturated and I'll pop in some of this organic compost as well. Uh, I'm going to be using those little um, peat pots as they're called to transplant them and the problem is I don't know where to put them because I don't know if they soak out the water they probably will so I'll probably need some sort of tray so I've got one tray there I'll have to find other trays as well but uh, chances are I can pop a lot of them into these boxes after these have been transported transferred uh, because these ones leak which is why they're on the polystyrene so I can put these pots into the polystyrene but uh, and then that one at the bottom doesn't leak because it's just a, a single use food tray so I can probably clean that out and pop some more of the peat pots in there as well that'll probably take six as well so there we go that's what I'll be doing and so I'm going to crack on uh, I'm going to be listening out for the um, heating engineers as well coffee gloves cat I have everything I need Oh, a kneeling pad. Now, the way I'm dressed at the moment is quite a, uh, an irony. Uh, so I've got my best jumper on <laughs> that I brought brand new a few days ago, or a week ago. Uh, and then down here, as you see, I'm wearing shorts and socks. And the reason for that is that I've washed all my long trousers. They're all drying. Uh, yeah, I didn't realise I'd run out. Um, I put them in the clothes basket and, and ca carefully ignored having to do it. Now I've washed them all, so I'm wearing shorts. It's about uh, 12 degrees, so it's it's not warm. It's not uh, overly warm, but uh, we'll, we'll get by. I'll manage. So.
<clears throat> it's midday, it's Thursday the 22nd. Uh, I was potting this morning at the bungalow and I've walked back down and I've walked back down to the allotment this afternoon to show you what's going on. Uh, well, this morning, but I'm going into this afternoon. Technicalities. Uh, it's a beautiful blue, sort of hazy sky day. Temperature currently is about 15 to 16 degrees, so it's it's pleasant. Uh, in the sun, it's, it feels warmer. Um, let's show you the plot. So the big thing is, it's all gone. It's all gone. Where is all? The ivy and other composting. Uh, well, it's under there. I burnt it all yesterday. The sun was, uh, sorry, the wind was meant to be in a southwesterly nature, which is from there, and it was meant to be going over there. However, when I started burning, uh, which I did on this area here, let's show you, it turned out to be a self What's the direct uh, southeasterly, uh, which meant it was coming from there and going sadly over there, yeah, to the houses. Uh, I did have to damp it down after a few hours because uh, a very nice lady did come across and say, Will you be long? I want to do my washing. Uh, and I said, No, nope, I'll sort it out now. And she said, You're so kind. And that was it. So what I've done is, I mean, that, there is a huge amount of ashes under there. So I've just, uh, I damped it down with water and then buried it in the soil, which came from the edge of the pond. Uh, and what I'll do with that soil is it, some of it, I'll mix it up. Some of it I'll spread on the top of the other areas for a little bit of potash action. Uh, some of it I'll put into that um, freebie bin that somebody left outside their house. Uh, and the rest I'll put into another compost bin. Um, I might be getting another blue pallet, in which case I'll extend out the composting area to another um, shiplap length. So approximately, we are talking that talk, sort of length. Pop that in there. There we go. So the uh, so it'll be over there. And then I'll have another composting bin for uh, first year composting, which is great because I still want to dig out a lot of these weeds. I mean, there's a huge amount of old man's beard, that tall weed there with the uh, beardy top. And there's still lots of ivy and things around the bottom. This area now is mostly ready for planting. So during the next month or so, I'll be doing lots of um, uh, bulbs around the top and then during the the growing uh, year next year I'll be putting in wild flowers around the top as well to go over the bulbs but uh, more conventional cutting flowers and border flowers on this area outside here tractors um, there's all the stones I've been pulling out of all of this dirt years and years and years of stones that have been thrown onto the plot uh, thrown off the uh, the plot onto the um, the sides of this uh, beautiful area uh, and it's a shame because it shouldn't really be here it's Friday morning Friday the 23rd of September it's just about eight o'clock uh, it's raining slightly which makes it hard for the to actually touch the buttons on the camera because it doesn't seem to uh, on the phone because it doesn't seem to like the water on the screen right uh, no allotment in this morning not really I've popped down to uh, just well record this little message and to um, explain what I'm going to do um, as you know hang on whoops yay it worked this time uh, I've been doing the peas there they seem to be right but I know the peas are growing, but the pigeons are having them. All the pigeons want my peas. Um, they live up there and or on that wire and then they fly and I've been stood literally over by the 
uh, where that nice fresh new pallet that somebody bought me. Thank you very much. Um, oh, there's the Robin. Oh, I can't. I don't know if I can. It's a shame I can't zoom in very well. Is he there? He was there. Has he gone behind the pallet? Oh my god, this drizzle's getting bad. Oh, it's beginning to rain. Anyway, um, there we go. Yeah, so, but they live, all these pigeons, they live in this tree or on these things and they swoop down and they pick it. So what I'm going to do, oh, there's the Robin. So there's the, um, those metal meshes that somebody gave me that another person cut for me, very kindly. Hi, Robin. Look at him talking to me. Um, I'm going to place those over there for the time being. Uh, that's what they're there for. They are like a birdcage. I'm going to stand under my, uh, my ash tree. Oh, is it my, uh, that's a sycamore, isn't it? This is the ash. I can't remember. You should see the rain. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll put those across there in a few seconds. Probably did put two. And then I might need to put them onto the um, field beans later on when they start growing. Everything else is as it's left. I haven't done much uh, over the last couple of days, but sorted out a few more stones and things on the, uh, those. Um, you see, see the, uh, the drag marks, it's like bodies. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to do with that pallet is it's the same size as that blue one there. I'm going to dig out um, a gully there and then use the ship plat to attach it, and then that will be a second compost bin then. And I'll start chopping up stuff and putting it in there. It'll mostly be this um, annual weed from in here. It's all these annual weeds. Just beautiful colours there this morning on this camera. It's not as bright as that in real life. Unless my eyesight's failing. Oh, little Robin just wants to come and talk to me all the time these days. There he is. Why are you pointing at me? Hello gorgeous. Sorry about all the cars and things. Maybe I should just overwrite this with silence and birdsong. I don't know if that's a robin or a song thrush or something. I can't see, I haven't got my glasses on. Oh, he's gone. He'll be back. Right, so that's the state of affairs. Um, plans, well, I've sown the peas and beans, broad beans. Um, I need to fill in what I don't use on that patch with the last of the uh, field beans. That's done, that's done, all that. Oh, uh, I've got permission to dig up. Oh, I'm gonna go out in the rain. Ugh, it's yucky. Walk with me. Green, cross the green. I've got permission to dig up on my neighbor's plot, whom I had a long chat with yesterday. The volunteers. So, any of these and these are all summer um, raspberries so I, I can dig all the, these extra ones up and any of these that I want uh, the reason being is that they're just weeds really um, once you've sort of got a, a couple of rows these they send out runners and they'll just muller your allotment by just growing and growing and growing i've seen allotments over on that side that were like 90 percent raspberry and it took them a long time to actually clear them so yeah so they, they all need uh digging up and i'll put them on the behind my growing compost pile down here all right duck down for the apple tree Ooh, it's wet oh ah. there we go so I'll put them behind my growing compost pile in a big row along there. 
right from that point all the way down that'll all be um big rows of raspberries and then people can pick them as they walk past i'll put up a nice little sign saying feel free to share it's saturday saturday the 24th uh i've actually come down a little bit later today oh, it's a cold tour. um it's about 12 o'clock it's 12 20. Um, yeah, temperature, chilly, about 12 degrees, uh, next few days, hello Robin, next few days are going to be um, colder as well, uh, maybe even getting down to about 7 or 8 degrees at night, uh, still nowhere near freezing, so we're still looking good, this morning's weather has been torrential rain, it has been pouring down, but we've got a, uh, um, a time of no rain at the moment. Let me show you. So the skies are gloomy and dark, uh, but there is trying to get through over there, and it is heading in this direction. The uh, the winds are northerly, so they're uh, going that direction. So uh, you know that's what we're going to get, and that's what we've had. So allotment, I came down last night and had a rake and a hoe. Uh, I, I didn't hoe around the, uh, the plants. I still haven't done in there. I'm still waiting for them to get a slightly little, little bit larger and then I'm gonna actually pull the weeds out rather than just hoe them in. So I've hoed all this and all this and all that. And I put the metal over this area stop the pigeons grabbing any new shoots and I put in the pea sticks and we'll see if that has any effect on stopping the pigeons stealing the peas we shall see